Come on, everyone, the plane's here. Coming, Dad. That's a pretty cool plane. I'm so excited, Dad and Mom. I never got to go on a plane before. Cool plane. Come on, Johnny, let's go. Hold up, Jasmine. Uh, Mom, come on, I'm excited. I want to go on the plane. I know, we gotta wait for Grandma. Oh, Lucy, dear, it's okay. The kids can go ahead. They don't need to wait for me. It's a pretty exciting time. Yeah, Becky's getting married. We're all excited for Becky to get married. I can't believe it's my wedding. It feels like we've been waiting so long for this. And it's finally here. My goodness, this is our most requested video that we have ever had. A great big thank you to Kitty123, who was the first one to suggest this video, along with Zia Hackett, Samira Boggs, and Haley F. Cosentino, followed by hundreds more of you. Thank you so much for suggesting this video, and we hope you love it! Becky Ricardo's Wedding Oh, hello. Do you have a reservation? Yep. The Ricardo family? Oh, yes, perfect, Mr. Ricardo. We were expecting you. Cool, another shuttle. Oh, perfect. I think there should be room for all of us. Just the five of you, then? No, actually, there's seven of us. All right, well, I'll just help you with your bags here, and the rest of you can hop into the van, then. Here, sir, let me take your bags. Hey, Mom, where's Becky? And Grandma? Oh, I'm not sure, actually, Jasmine. Oh, I saw them, Mom. Grandma was gonna help Becky with her bag or something? Not quite sure. Oh, okay, well, they should be here shortly, then. Mom! It's awful, Mom! What's going on? What's wrong, Becky? Yeah, Becky, what's wrong? Why are you so sad? It's horrible, Mom! They lost my bag! Everything was in there, Mom! My dress, my makeup, my shoes, everything! They lost it! What? How could they lose a bag that big? Not now, Johnny. Okay, are you sure? Maybe they just put it in the oversized area? No! Grandma went to go check and she said that it wasn't there. Where is your grandmother? She said she was going to talk to the airline. Mom, my wedding is ruined! <laughs> it's okay, Becky. We'll just have to figure something out. Maybe we can go shopping. Don't worry, we will figure something out. Alright. It's okay, Becky. You'll still look beautiful no matter what you wear. <laughs> Thanks, Jasmine. Hey, look! It's Jason! Oh, Jason! Hi, everybody! What's the matter, sweetie? What's wrong? <laughs> they lost my bag, Jason. My dress was in there. Everything! <laughs> what are we gonna do? Don't worry, you guys. We will figure it out. But I love that dress. I know you did. I loved it, too. You looked so beautiful. We'll find you a brand new dress that you love just as much. <laughs> Okay. Where's your parents? They came down yesterday, so Uncle George and I are going to meet them at the hotel. Oh, that's wonderful. Oh, here you are, Jason, my boy. Everyone, I'd like you to meet my great uncle George. Well, hello there, everyone. What a lovely occasion to get together with family and friends. <laughs> was it, was it something I said? The airline lost Becky's bag and her dress was in there. Oh dear, that's not good at all. Oh, excuse me, sir. I'm sorry, young lady. I didn't mean to block your path. Oh, that's very sweet of you. I'm just trying to get by you, sir. But of course, anything for a lovely lady like yourself. Oh, you're sweet. Becky, honey. Grandma, did you talk to them? Did they find it? Oh, sweetie, I did talk to the airline. And it looks like it was put on a different plane altogether. They're trying to overnight it, but... They weren't certain it would be here until after tomorrow. But the wedding is tomorrow. I know, dear. They said they're going to try as hard as they can to get it here on time. 
All right. Well, thanks for talking to them for me, Grandma. Anything for you, dear. Yeah, Becky. We'll go shopping as soon as we check in. Okay. I guess that's all we can do right now. Oh, perfect. I guess this is the rest of your party then? Yeah, it is. Unfortunately, we only have room for seven in the vehicle. I can't take all of you. Jason, honey, you go with Becky and the family and I'll just catch the next shuttle. Oh, Mrs. Ricardo, I can't take your seat. No, no, dear. It's quite all right. Becky needs you right now. I can wait. It's okay. I can just meet Jason after. No, no, dear. You two should be together. <coughs> uh, can I be of some assistance? I'm Jason's great uncle. I'm George. George McGinty. I've actually rented a car. I could drive you to the hotel if you'd like. I'm staying there too. Hmm, that would be fantastic. Oh, well, it's a pleasure to meet you. I'm Judy. Judy Ricardo. Lovely. Ah. Okay, well, I guess we're all set then. Let's go, guys. We gotta get to that hotel and check in, and then we gotta go shopping. Let's get going. Uh, if there's no more bags, everyone can just hop in. Come on, Jasmine, let's go. Thanks again, Grandma. Uh, Mom? Yes, Ricky, honey, what is it? You sure you want to, uh, go with Uncle George here? Well, of course, sweetie. He seems like a very nice gentleman. Don't worry, lad. I'll take care of your mother for you. Oh, go ahead, Ricky, dear. I'll see you at the hotel. Okay. It's very nice to meet you, George. It's very nice to meet you too, Ricky. That's Rick. All right, I'll just see you guys at the hotel then. The car rental place is just down here. Oh, wonderful. Well, this is turning out to be a good vacation. <laughs> It'll be okay, Becky. Don't worry. Thanks, Jasmine. Oh, what a lovely car. Yes, I like to travel in style when I'm on holiday. Here it is, girls. This is the store that the girl at the front desk at the hotel told me about. Let's check in here. It looks nice. Okay, let's try it out, Mom. Come on, Jasmine. Hi there, welcome to my shop. What can I do for you today? We have a little bit of an emergency. The airline lost my daughter's wedding dress and her wedding is tomorrow. Oh dear, that's not good at all. No, it's not, so we're in a bit of a panic. We we're hoping that you might have something. Well, I do have lots of selection. So how about you come back with me, dear, and I'll get you a whole bunch of different things you can try on. Oh, thank you so much. Here, Jasmine, honey, why don't we sit down? You can rest your leg a bit, and then Becky can come out and model for us. Oh, yay. Follow me. Wish me luck, Mom. Good luck, honey. Hey, Mom, where's Grandma? How come she didn't want to come? She said something about meeting George for lunch. You know, Jason's great uncle. Oh, yeah. I liked his mustache. It was funny. Yes, he did have a very big mustache, didn't he? He did. I've got your daughter all set up in one of the dressing rooms. I'm just going to grab this wedding dress at the front here. Oh, perfect. There we go. Hopefully she likes this one. Here I come, Mom. Oh, Becky, you're beautiful. What do you think, Jasmine? Well, it's okay. I love the veil, but it's not as pretty as your other dress. <sighs> I know, I think you're right, Jasmine. But I agree with Jasmine, I love your veil. Yeah, because I didn't really buy a veil with my other dress. No, you didn't, but I really do like that one. But how do you feel about this dress? It's okay, it says wedding. I don't really love it though. So what are your thoughts on this one? Um, it's okay, but I don't know. Well, unfortunately that is the only formal wedding dress that I have, but I have a whole bunch of other dresses that you might like. Oh, okay, but did I hear you say that you love the veil? Yes, I love the veil. So we'll keep that. Why don't you come to the back with me and I'll show you what else I have. Well, what do you guys think of this one? It's beautiful, but it doesn't really say wedding to me. It says more like really fancy ball or some, some sort of princess outfit. Yes, I agree with Jasmine again. <sighs> yeah, I thought so too. It is beautiful, but I'm just not feeling it for the wedding. Okay, I'll try something else. That's just a no, honey. Yeah, it's a little old-fashioned, hey? Yes, definitely old-fashioned. 
I didn't even know they still made dresses like that. <sighs> okay, I'll try again. Well, Mom, what do you think of this one? It's very lovely, dear, but it's not very fancy. It doesn't really go with the veil that you like so much. <sighs> yeah, that's what I was thinking too. Well, what about this one, Mom? Oh, it's lovely. It's not white, though. That's okay, honey. Do you like it? I do really like it. I like it better than all the other ones. It's fancy, but not too fancy. But it doesn't really say wedding, though. Well, we don't really have much of a choice. At least, do you like it, though? I do. I do like it. It's really pretty. And I love the veil. Well, let's get it then, sweetie. We don't have time for anything else. Yeah, you're right. And as long as you love it, that's all that matters. Okay, Mom. I'll get it. Yay! I'm so happy for you, Becky. You look beautiful. Thanks, Jasmine. I know you're upset, honey. And I'm really sorry that you're not able to wear the dress that you originally bought. But I guess, Mom, the day is not about just my dress. It's about me and Jason and starting our new life together. You're absolutely right, honey. Let's pay for this and we'll head back to the hotel. Okay, Mom. Sounds good. <laughs> Johnny, knock it off. Ugh, but Marcel, I'm bored. How can you be bored? We just got back from the pool with Dad. But I'm bored. <gasps> Someone's here! Johnny, don't open that door. Who is it? It's Mom, Johnny. Oh, it's Mom. Come on in. Hey, guys. Come on, Jasmine. Hey, Mom. Hi, Marcel. Hi, Johnny. How was your afternoon with Dad? Oh, it was good. The pool was fun. Yeah, the pool was really fun, but I'm bored now, Mom. Come on, isn't there something we can do? You sure can, Johnny. It's time to get ready for bed. What? Bedtime already? No way. We got a big day ahead of us tomorrow, Johnny. We need a good night's sleep. Ooh, I'm ready for bed, Mom. I'm tired. Okay, Jasmine. You guys get ready for bed, okay? Okay, Mom. All right, Mom. Even me, Mom? Yes, Marcel, you too. Ugh, okay. Okay, kids, well, good night then, and I'll see you in the morning. And tomorrow's a big day. Night, Jasmine. Night, Johnny. Night, Marcel. Night, Mom. So how'd it go, Jasmine? Becky got a dress? Yeah, she did, and she'll look beautiful. I guess we should get ready for bed. I get top bunk, Johnny. Uh, Jasmine, I don't think that's a good idea with your foot. All right. Okay, you can have top bunk. All right, Jasmine. I'm excited for tomorrow, though. Me too. It should be lots of fun, and we get lots of cake. And I gotta wear my beautiful dress. Oh, yeah, I gotta wear my suit. Ugh, that thing pinches my neck. But you're gonna look so pretty, Johnny. What? I don't wanna look pretty. Okay, you'll look very handsome. Ooh, ooh. Come on, Johnny. I'm tired. Let's go to bed. Okay, Jasmine. Sounds good. They got the same shows on here that we do at home. Hi, honey. Oh, hi, Lucy. How'd shopping go? It went really well. Did she find a new dress? Yes, she did. Oh, well, you don't sound too happy about that. Well, she did really like it, but I know that her heart's broken a little bit. She really loved her original dress. Yeah, I know, that's gotta be hard for her. But you said this one's really pretty? Yes, it's very lovely, and she can wear it again for another occasion, so that's always nice. Oh yeah, totally. Have you heard from your mom today? No, I tried calling her. Can't get a hold of her. I knew she was meeting up for lunch with Jason's uncle. Maybe they decided to have dinner too. A second date in one day? I don't know if I like this guy. Oh, honey. It's a good thing that your mom's getting out there. She doesn't get out that often. Yeah, you're right. Well, I told the kids to get ready for bed. I think maybe we should get to bed too. We got a long day tomorrow. You're right, we do. Did you want to sit up for a little bit and watch a little bit of a show? Oh, actually, that'd be really nice. Oh, I love this show. I watch it at home all the time. Yeah, I know. Me too. There you go, Johnny. And that's how you clip on a bow tie. Oh, wow. Thanks, Dad. I couldn't figure out how to clip it on. No problem at all, buddy. Well, you look rather handsome there, young man. You don't look too bad yourself, Dad. How you doing, Marcel? Okay, Dad. I'm still getting ready, though. I think Johnny and I are going to head out and see how the girls are doing. Okay. Come on, Johnny. Let's go next door. All right, Dad. Wow, Mom, you look amazing. Oh, thanks, Jasmine. You look beautiful yourself. Yeah, this dress is great. I don't even need my crutches. Kind of just holds me up. Look, I can just kind of glide around on this thing. <laughs> well, it's good that you like that dress, and it worked out quite well with your cast. Yeah, no one's going to know that I have a broken leg. 
See, and you were worried for nothing. Hey, Dad, I can see them. They're dressed. Okay. Wow, honey, you look amazing in that dress. Oh, thanks, Rick. You clean up pretty good yourself. Wow. Save me a dance later? You bet, honey. Oh, geez. Can I get through you, lovebirds? Sorry, Johnny. Hi, Johnny. Hey, Jasmine, where's your crutches? Oh, I don't need them in this dress. They kind of just hold me up. See, I just kind of glide around in this thing. Oh, cool. How's it going, Becky? Okay, Mom, I'm almost ready. Okay, honey, I'm just going to head down with Johnny and Jasmine, and your father will wait here to take you down, okay? Sounds good, Mom, thanks. Okay, guys, let's get going. Yay! Becky, I'm going to take your flowers. Okay, Jasmine. Look at me, Johnny. I'm a bride. Yeah, you kind of look like one. Don't forget your pillow with the rings, Johnny. All oh, right. Now I just have to make sure I don't drop them. Don't worry, son. They're tied on. All good. Whew. Okay, kids. Come on. Let's get going. See you in a little bit, Dad. Bye, sweetie. Come on, Johnny. It's kind of hard to fit through the door. Okay, I got it. Wait for me, Johnny. See you down there, dear. How you doing, Becky? It's almost time to go down. I'm done, Dad. Well, Dad, what do you think? You look beautiful, honey. Is my dress okay? I don't really feel like a bride in it. It's not your traditional gown, but you still look beautiful. Okay, well then, I'm ready to go. Special delivery. Special delivery? Were you expecting anything? No, I wasn't. Hmm. You all set for your big day, Jason? <sighs> yes, ma'am, I am. You remember all your lines? Yes, I do. <laughs> Very good. How are you holding up? Uh, a little nervous. That's to be expected. Oh, perfect. Here come my parents. Hi, Jason. Hi, Jason. Hi, Mom. Hi, Dad. This is our Justice of the Peace. She'll be officiating the ceremony. Oh, how lovely to meet you. Yes, the same to you. We are so excited for you, Jason. We just wanted to wish you congratulations on your big day. Thanks, Mom. We're proud of you, son. Thanks, Dad. Okay, sweetie, we're gonna go get our seats. After you, my dear. I guess I should be standing on this side. Yes, that is the side you're supposed to be standing on. Hi, Jason. Hi, Mrs. Ricardo. You remember my parents. Oh, how lovely to see you both again. And on such a happy occasion, your dress is simply lovely. Why, thank you so much, and I love your dress. Thank you so much. Well, I better go and check on my kids and see how they're doing. And then hopefully Becky will be ready to go soon as well. And we can talk more after the ceremony. Talk to you later. Bye. Hi, Lucy, honey. How's Becky doing? She's doing good, a little bit nervous. Did she find a dress all right? She did. She's not thrilled about it, but she still looks very beautiful. Oh, well, that's wonderful. Poor thing, getting her dress lost. Uh, we didn't hear from you last night. How was your evening? Oh, it was fantastic. George and I went out for dinner. He's such a lovely man. I'm actually quite happy for you. Oh, I thank you, dear. Hello, beautiful ladies. Hello again, George. Hi, George. My dear, you look absolutely stunning. I think I'm rather lucky to have such a beautiful date. Aw, George. Well, I'm gonna go check on the kids and relieve Marcel of his babysitting duties. All right, dear. See you in a little bit. See you later. Bye, George. Goodbye, Lucy, my dear. And you, lovely lady. Don't forget, you owe me a dance later. Oh, I wouldn't forget, George. How's it going, guys? Okay, Mom, how long do we have to wait? Feels like we've been waiting forever. Becky should be down soon. I'm here, I'm here, I made it. Our flight just landed and we had to run here, Karen and I. Oh, I'm so glad you guys could make it. We were so worried that you wouldn't. And then I wouldn't have a best man and Becky wouldn't have a maid of honor. Well, we're here. Let's get the show on the road. Yeah, we're just waiting for Becky. I don't know what's taking so long. I made it. Oh, perfect, Karen. I'm so happy you made it. We were worried that you weren't going to. <sighs> yeah, I was scared that I wasn't going to, but luckily our flight just landed and we rushed over here. I know Becky will be so happy to see you. Okay, Marcel, you're relieved. You can go sit down. Thanks for watching the kids. No problem, Mom. 
look, everyone. Look, it's Becky. Whoa. Guess what, guys? They found my luggage. I'm so happy. Wow, Becky, you look amazing. Hi, Karen. You made it. You look incredible. Thank you. Hey, what about me? Don't I look incredible, too? <laughs> You always look incredible, honey. Oh, well, thank you, dear. Well, Becky, are you ready? Yes, Mom, I am. All right, well, I'm gonna go take my place, and then, remember, it's Jasmine, then Johnny, and then you, Karen. And then, Becky, it's you and your father. Okay, Mom. Good luck, sweetie. You look amazing. I love you. Love you, too, Mom. All right, I think we're about ready to start. Will everyone please be seated? Um, Mrs. Ricardo's, will you please be seated? Yeah, we actually can't sit down in these dresses. Oh, okay then, never mind. <laughs> I guess everyone else just be seated, please. All right, kiddo, let's get the show on the road. Places, everybody. Good job, Jasmine, honey. Thanks, Mom. Will everyone please rise for the bride? Oh my goodness, she is so lovely. Wow, look at that dress. Who gives this woman away? Her mother and I do. Wonderful, thanks dad. Love you sweetie. You may all be seated for those of you who can. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today in the presence of these witnesses to join together Rebecca Ann Ricardo and Jason Patrick Carlyle. If anyone here has any just cause as to why these two should not be married, please speak now or forever hold your peace. <laughs> huh? <laughs> Dad? Rick, honey, what's wrong? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It just hit me. <laughs> what is it, Dad? <laughs> You're getting married. <laughs> <laughs> you just realized that now? My little girl. You're my little girl and you're getting married. <laughs> I'll always be your little girl, Dad. That, that won't change. <laughs> I know. I know. It's just, it just really hit me right now. It's just really real, you know? <laughs> it's fine. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't mean to interrupt. Oh, Dad. I'll always be your little girl. Oh, Rick, honey. Okay, I'm okay. I'm okay. Continue, please. I got it. I got it together now. I'm good. I'm good. Okay, let's do this. Are you, are you sure you're okay, Dad? Yep, I'm good. Just had to get out of my system. Carry on, honey. I'm good now. I love you, Becky. I love you too, Dad. Okay. Sorry about that. Are you okay, honey? Yeah, I'm fine, dear. I'm good. Do you think anybody saw? <laughs> yes, I think everyone saw. What are you talking about? Did nobody see? Oh, okay. Well, I'm okay now. Does anyone else have anything else they need to say? No? Okay, moving on. Can I have the rings, please? And the bride and groom would like to recite their own vows. I, Becky and Ricardo, take you, Jason, to be my lawfully wedded husband. I wasn't expecting to meet you so early in my life, but I'm so happy that I did. And I look forward to many years of happiness together. I, Jason Patrick Carlisle, take you, Rebecca and Ricardo, to be my lawfully wedded wife. It was easy for me the first time I saw you when I was dropping off the pizza at your house. I knew right at that moment that we were meant to be together. And I can't imagine my life without you in it. Rebecca, do you take Jason to be your husband? I do. Jason, do you take Rebecca to be your wife? I do. By the powers vested in me, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss your bride. Yay! Yeah! Yay! <laughs> oh, Rick, honey.
Thanks for watching. To join all the fun up in our treetop, please subscribe to Little Monkey Meteor's channel. Don't forget, if you like our video, please share it and click like. We go banana!